Hey guys, and welcome to my tutorial on how to install Altoclef for Minecraft Java Edition. And um, first things first is I do not condone the use of using this bot to cheat on servers such as Hypixel that do not allow such modifications. So first things first is you're going to want to go to this website right here, which I will link down in the description. Then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says download. Then you're going to want to click on this, then click on this, and then it should pop up right here. And then you're going to want to click save as, and you're going to want to save it to wherever, as such as your desktop, which is the easiest place to get to, or your downloads folder. Some everyone's different. And you want to click back twice because my browser is really silly. Then you're going to want to click on download the nightly, which might take a second. And then you should have this thing called artifacts.zip. Save it to the same place you saved your AltaClef folder. Then you're going to want to take note of where it says versions down here, saying this is a fabric only mod currently available from Minecraft 1.17. You want to keep this in mind because mods aren't always up to date, and this is very important. So once you've done that, you can open this folder and, well, Try not, all right, well, it's not letting me go over without leaking all my documents. So you're going to take whatever's in this folder and we'll drag it and then we'll extract it. You're also going to want to do the same thing for artifacts.zip, except only take the one that says, only take the one on the top. So you're also going to want to take that. And it's okay if you, rep it's okay if you replace the file. That's what you're, you're going to want to do anyways. So this is taking a little bit, so I'm just going to minimize this. So the next thing is you're going to want this this program called MultiMC. So I'm going to leave a link in, the link in the video description on how to install this. So yeah, um, if you don't already have it, install it if you can. So what you're going to want to do is you want to create a new instance and make sure it's Minecraft 1.17.1 because that's the version that that was on the browser. It said on the GitHub page. Then you want to click OK. And there, here's my instance. I couldn't named it something, but you're going to hit Edit Instance. You're going to want to click Install Fabric. And then you're going to want to well, this is the one that's a star, so you're going to want to pick this one preferably. Then, you're going to want to go into Loader Mods, and then just drag them into here. And then you should be good. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. And from there, and then now, you're pretty much good to go. So, you're going to want to click, from here, you're going to want to click Launch. You can, you can dump whatever other mods you want into here. And if current version of Fabric isn't working, then, well, I recommend that. Okay, this is fine. I don't think it's leaking anything. You're going to want to make sure that you install Fabric for one. Yeah, you're going to want to install Fabric Loader 11.7. Also, don't go. Try not to go on any servers if you're running this version, because as you can see here, there was recently a big boy exploit that was released into the wild so yeah you should have your instance here with AltaClef on it and then you're gonna double click and you're gonna wanna run it however well I already have my instance up here so what first things first is to use it you're gonna click single player you wanna create a new world just do whatever here have fun with it and then you're going to create a new world. First things first, you're going to only have to do this once. And once you do this once, you should be good. Press F3 and H. Uh, by the way, I already have some separate mods, so just ignore this. And then it should say advanced tooltips shown. So what that does is... Uh, 
for example, let's pretend I'm alt clock just running around doing whatever it's supposed to be doing. Let's say it, start, it starts breaking the grass and it picks up some wheat seeds. We don't want these wheat seeds. They're not useful for speed running. So we're going to want to take note of say, it says wheat underscore seeds. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pause Minecraft. Left, and well, you're gonna wanna you're gonna open the mine Minecraft fold. Yeah, open the dot Minecraft folder, and then you're going to want to navigate to. Yeah, you're gonna wanna navigate to mods, I believe. Am I doing this right? Hold on. Well, I know for sure that this this version here. Yeah. Uh, once you've used Alto Clef once, it should generate this uh, full this txt file called Alto Clef Settings .json. And once, and yeah, you're gonna want to load this up anyways. So, so for example, first things first is put force field strategy strategy to smart, just to make sure that it w just to make sure that it doesn't die. And then you're going to want to scroll down to here where it says throw away items. And then if it picks up an item, for example, wheat seeds that aren't useful for speed runs, I already have a bunch of stuff here added just to be safe. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in comma, enter, and then you're going to want to align it just to be just for just for cleansiness sakes. And then you're going to want to type in wheat underscore seeds and then quotation mark again if it picks up any other item that isn't useful for speed runs like eggs cobwebs sticks and this is this is basically telling it that oh it's okay to throw it away and then you're gonna want to hit and then you're gonna either press control s or go to file and save it and you can close it and well wheat seeds is already in my directory so I don't, what you're gonna want to do from here is you're gonna close minecraft and reopen and reopen it to refresh those settings so once so to start it it's very easy you just have to type in at gamer and from there it should be doing whatever it should be doing from there you can also configure settings in baritone like um allow parkour which basically makes it so that <laughs> it's going in the ocean so that it basically makes it so that uh, i can do jumps however be careful this is fairly risky to do and yeah it might die more often if you have a lot of parkour but at the same time it might be a slight might be slightly faster so that's my tutorial on how to use alto clef for minecraft java edition and i hope you have a good day